And welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Red Terran in the North up against Tachyon. I want to say that sounds like a, a video game at one time. Anyways, he is the Blue Terran in the East. The map is Lost Temple, which I have not done well on lately. Um, I forgot to show APM in the last game. I do apologize for that, um, but I, I really don't... Um, think of it too often because I don't I don't know I, I, I don't think it's that important at this level it's really about what kind of build you do how how um, quick you are with that um, but it, you know it, it is important and I should remember to do it I did fall a little bit behind there um, I don't know if you saw I got up to actually 100 minerals and I was not training SUVs for a little second there I was still thinking about the last game that is something I need to learn to avoid as soon as I finish one game boom I start up the next one while I'm still kind of thinking about what I should have done in the last game I need to watch the replay so I can um, find out what I need to do in actuality instead of still looking at it from only my perspective I need to take uh, my opponent's perspective into mine as well so I should be watching replays uh, between each game uh, instead of trying to go for you know a quick 10 games or, or whatever I do send an SUV out to scout he does not so I, I check out the Zalnaga tower there's nothing there so I go into this base and I go out oh, you know there's nothing there so I instantly go down into this base here is my next destination I kind of like to keep things in clockwise order or, you know counterclockwise whichever way I happen to be going at the time um, but he is going for a quick two barracks here so it looks like he's gonna be going for a rush here um, he does have the refinery up but a quick two barracks before even the first one is up, and I, I can't say... I mean, I've seen so many interesting builds since I've come into Silver. And really, I don't want to say that they're not effective. Because when I was in Bronze, there, there were definitely builds that players were trying that simply didn't work. Um, the one that I, I recall to mind most was when I, I faced a guy on this map. And he was actually the red player in the position that I'm in now. And he had seven barracks and just started pumping out Marines as fast as he could. Never even bothered getting gas um, until, you know, all of his Marines were dead, pretty much. It was it was a build that I had not seen before, but it simply didn't work. And these builds, I, I as far as I can tell, they're not bad. They're not, you know, crazy over the top. They're just different. And it's not something that I'm used to. So he got the fast two barracks out. Didn't bother blocking off. I don't. I, I can't say I blame him. Uh, he got the tech lab on one. Looks like just so he can get stim packs because he's instantly going into a third barracks. Um, he does have um, the same harvesters that I do. We're both going off of one gas right now. I am still getting my second and third barracks. So I mean, he's gotten so much out faster than I have. But really, he's he's doesn't have that much to show for it as far as I can tell um, really the the fast two barracks kind of made him not get any Marines or anything like that for a while he as soon as that first Marauder pops out it doesn't look like he's gonna be going for an attack um, he doesn't know where I am though so now just gonna stop at the Zalnaga Tower to see what's going on um, and the circles of course intersect here but I can't tell that he's on the tower there but then he moves up north, so he does guess, um, luckily I guess, uh, because he is moving north into my base. But I do have quite a few marines here, um, but I did supply lock myself, oh good lord. So I do have two supply depots on the way, um, because I wasn't keeping track of that. Uh, these guys able to... no, they're not going to be able to hold this off. Um, two marines will live, but two marines is not that much to worry about. I do have more on the way. Uh, one marine popping out there. They stim up so they can kill SCVs. I, I can't say I've ever seen that before. It, does, it looks like they were only able to get a couple deaths there. Um, 
and I have the lead in the, in the army now. Well, he has the lead in the army, sorry. Um, he did take the lead in the unit's loss count, but just barely, you know? So it, really that ends up being really neutral between the two of us. Um, he is continuing to get um, Marines and Marauders out of four racks now. Uh, three tech labs and uh, a reactor. He is getting concussive shells, um, but uh, mine is already done. Um, uh, no, it is not. I actually did not get it yet. Uh, that is strange for me. I usually go for the concussive shells first because it does help with the micro and it is done quickly, uh, which is something that I like to keep in mind. Combat shield and stim pack do take a lot longer, so I did queue up the concussive shells because I am sort of in a panic mode, and I did. Uh, you shouldn't be um, queuing things up like that. But my first weapons upgrade is almost done. Um, defense is on the way. It does look like both um, my combat shield and my level weapons one weapons level one will be finished before he comes in I will keep an eye on that though no it doesn't finish before but there it finishes right there so I should be able to clean this up no problem um, as well as the the concussive shells are not done though um, and he goes here to oh he already took out my marine so he does have map control he will know if I go for a third expansion or when I move out but he will not know if I go for my natural expansion and he quickly moves away from the watchtower I can't say I agree with this I don't know why he abandoned that he should be keeping the forward position here with some of his marines he he won that battle more or less he forced me into a uh, massive uh, army producing, uh, so he should have kept at least one guy out there for for scouting purposes. I, I can't say I know what's going on. I mean, does he see what's going on in my base? Um, I'm on his camera now. And, um, no, I mean, he, he saw the one barracks, but that was it. He does not see the barracks behind it. He does know that I have a massive marine and marauder ball, though. But I do have a factory on the way. Um, he is sticking with the four racks. Um, no, there, there goes his factory. His weapons upgrade is on the way. Uh, but everything that I have is fully upgraded now. Um, doesn't... Yeah, these guys don't show a little combat shield. They just kind of hold it on the side. You can see it when they run. Uh, but I wish they should have something, you know, like right there like they do with the, the concussive shells. I don't know why they don't, actually. I do have missile turrets up in the back because it did hit about the 11-minute mark, even though he went for the um, massive amounts of... Um, Marines and Marauders. I, I I did not know that he had this in his base, uh, that he had four racks here, so I was scared that he was teching up behind the scenes. Uh, factory floating off in between the bases. I was wondering where that thing went. Um, he is he did go for a starport, so I do know that it was still up, but yeah. Um, starport on the ground, factory in the air. That makes no sense to me whatsoever. Continuing to pump out Marines and Marauders. I should have the lead in the army. No, he still does. His Marine and Marauder ball is larger than mine. And first starport is up. Second one on the way. He is still on one base. And, well, so am I, to be honest with you. Neither one of us is doing a good job. Both of us should be expanding. Uh, should have expanded a long time ago, actually, um, but we just simply have not been doing that. His Marina Marauder Ball continues to grow, as does mine. Mine is fully upgraded, though, as far as it can go right now. And it looks like he is going to be going for a Marauder Drop. Um, not sure why just the Marauders and why just one army. Ah, he, he's sneaky. He's going for a two prong attack here is gonna go for um for a front attack while he goes for an attack with the medevac uh flying the factory out of the way of the medevac i'm not exactly sure why the factory had to move um yeah there, there, i really have no explanation for that so in comes the army 
one by one, and this siege tank doesn't have siege mode, otherwise it would be sieged up. It is not even being researched, but I hear that siege tank going, and I see the army, uh, so I do cancel the command center, get those minerals back. So he has denied my expansion. It should have been up by now. I really should have had that up with a planetary fortress. Uh, but I just don't have enough gas right now because I am uh, tacking up. Stim pack going down for him. I have a stim pack on everybody, even though these guys definitely don't need it yet. That siege tank did go down, but it did a lot of damage. Um, and he is forced to retreat. Um, in comes uh, the marauders inside my base. They are late. If he had done this earlier, it would have done a lot more damage. So am I able to see these Marauders? There are four of them, and they are focusing on the SCVs. They did take out one of the missile turrets uh, so that this medevac uh, did not die, apparently. Um, he does stim up those uh, few Marauders. I, I can't say I agree with that, and uh, doesn't load him back up. He should have loaded him back up into the medevac and ran him off. I instantly load uh, my marauders and a couple marines into medevacs, and I go for a counter drop. As you can see, I have it queued up right there. And he has nothing left in his base. They're all at a forward position inside the Zalnaga Tower. 